Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this makeup look right here. Um, this is such a pretty makeup look. I am obsessed with how it came out. I knew that I wanted to use this palette. This is from BH Cosmetics. It's the Wild and Free palette. And I knew that it was requested to use a light blue shade. So that's what I wanted to do. So I ended up coming up with this. And just the way that the eye look ended up pairing with the lip and the cheek and just everything looks so glowy and so pretty it's literally exactly what like i envisioned in my head and i just absolutely love it if you guys would like to see the products that i used to create this look and how i created this look then please keep watching i'm gonna go on with the urban decay primer potion so i'm gonna take the shade creme brulee from makeup geek looks like that and I'm gonna take that on a Sigma Tapered Blending E40. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that into the crease. Just gives a little bit of definition into the crease and adds some warmth. If you don't really want a warm crease though, again, you just tailor this to your specific needs. I'm gonna take the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and I'm gonna apply that to the lid. And this will make the blue really stand out. So apply that to the lid. Don't apply too much. Then it just becomes a mess. While that base is still tacky, I'm gonna dip into the light blue shade from that Wild and Free palette. Apply that all over the lid. Right on top of that base. Because the base will be still tacky. So it'll literally stick right to it. Just like that. I'm gonna take my blending brush again and lightly diffuse those edges. I'm going to take this brown shade on a small tapered blending and I'm going to start focusing that on the outer V of the eye. Almost to the lash line. I'm gonna go in with Coco Bear by Makeup Geek. Same blending brush and work that on the outer part as well. I'm gonna take this eyeliner in the shade Lasting Brown. This is by Bare Minerals. You can use any brown eyeliner. And I'm laying it on the outer part of the eye. And you can use a little smudge tip to smudge it out or you can use a brush. I'm gonna use a brush just because a brush is easier for me. And this will just give some definition to the eyes, make the eyes look a little bit more flirty. And then I'm gonna go back in with the light blue and just lightly touch it up. And then go back in with the tapered blending brush. I'm not adding any color. Just kind of whatever's on here. So I'm going to prime my face with the Master Prime Blur and Illuminate Primer. Because since this is a spring look, I want to look very fresh. I'm going to go in with the Cover FX Foundation. areas of my face. Love this foundation for like a really naturalish finish. I 
And I'm gonna go in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I have mine in the shade NC15. the Estee Lauder Blush On BB Glow, and this is in the shade 1N. I'm going to be taking this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is in the shade Cafe, number 30, and I'm just going to focus this on the perimeter of my face. So this will help. It's almost like cream contour. It's basically cream contouring. For the concealer. I'm going to take a Real Techniques Expert face brush and I'm just going to begin to blend it out. I'm just going to leave a little bit of a bronzy finish to the base. Lightly take some of that brush on glow. Go under the cheekbones up. Under it and clean it up. Take the sponge again and blend it. My under eye concealer with the Cody Airspun loose face powder. I'm gonna take my Mac Manor Eye Skin Finish in the shade Medium Plus and set my entire face. I'm lightly gonna use some Give Me Sun by Mac. my cheeks, I'm going to be using Between the Sheets by ColourPop. It looks like this. It's a really neutral pink. It's just like a little bit of a blush color. I'm going to take this color on this short shader brush from Sigma and I'm just going to start putting that underneath my eyes. And then I'm gonna wipe off that brush and then take this color, right there, it's the white. I'm gonna put that right down there. Yeah, I got it in my eye. And on the inner corner. The highlight. And then I'm gonna take a pencil brush and that shade again, creme brulee, and just smoke this out. A 
I'll lightly take my finger, go in with this blue color, and just pack it on. You're never losing that blue intensity. If you ever feel like there's a harsh line, not a gradient, just go ahead and blend it. Don't put any product on this brush, just blend it. I did my brows and my mascara off camera. I'm gonna actually add a little bit more mascara so you can watch. <laughs> I'm going to take this Anastasia Glow Kit. This one is the Gleam Kit. Um, Starburst and Mimosa. And I'm gonna mix those two. Always take it above the brow to give the brow like a lifted appearance. And then I always like to take it above the lip like a lot because then it like kind of peeks through your lipstick or whatever you're wearing on your lips. And it always makes your lip look more pouty. I'm gonna be lining my lips with NYX Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner. I'm going to be taking MAC Hue and this is a glaze I love the way that it came out thank you guys so much comment below keep sending requests and I will see you guys all in my next video Bye.